New for you right now at five, child care certainly become a top priority during this this year's legislative session. Governor Ned Lamont says he wants to make child care more affordable and accessible. That's why there's also a proposal to create more openings at centers. Channel 3's chief political reporter Susan Raff is live tonight in Hartford, and she has more details plus some reaction tonight. Susan. Mark, child care is so important for a ton of Connecticut families. Many would go back to work if they could only find not only good child care, but also affordable child care. Now, today, late this afternoon, the Finance Committee passed several proposals supported by Democrats and Republicans, which could bring some needed relief for Connecticut families. Child care is necessary for many families, but it can be a struggle. The cost was just astronomical. We just couldn't do it, and that's when families stepped in. Stephanie DeSeuss recently told lawmakers there are long waiting lists at many child care centers. When we sat down with her a few weeks ago, she was also concerned about the new law which raises the age for kindergarten. They must be five years old by September 1st. That means even more families will now be looking for child care. The House Priority Bill 5002 is a bipartisan bill that really does seek to provide more quality and affordable child care. And it does that by setting up a dedicated early childhood care and education fund. Representative Kate Farrar has been working on several proposals to help working families. The proposals, which have bipartisan support, include higher pay for educators to address a staffing shortage, creating more centers and slots, and more home-based daycare. Governor Lamont's budget includes $39 million for early child care education. It would have expanded the income guidelines for working families, but some last-minute budget adjustments could reduce the amount of money earmarked for that plan. Another proposal is a tri-share program that would split the cost three ways between families, the state, and the employer. Anything we can do to increase the amount of available child care, particularly at an affordable price, for me and I believe for other Republicans, this is an economic development tool. Now, the TriShare program is being offered in at least two or three states. We are told it is working very well in North Carolina. This could be very good news for big companies like Electric Boat. They recently announced they plan to hire thousands of workers over the next five years. This could help them not only attract workers, but help workers be able to take those jobs. As for the proposals that pass out of the Finance Committee today, that still needs to be getting full approval in the House and Senate. When the legislature convenes for voting later this month. We're live in Hartford tonight. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.